Well, you're listening to CKUA. My name is Grant, and the program is Alberta Morning. We just heard the incredible voice of Tom Jackson, such a beautiful and distinctive and well-loved voice on these airwaves. Tom is one of five trailblazing musicians who are part of the National Music Center's 2023 Speak Up Storytelling Exhibition, which is launching this month. And I am thrilled to say that the brilliant Tom Jackson joins us once again on CKUA right now. Tom Jackson, thank you so much for sharing some of your time with us. It's always just a wonderful blessing to have you here with us on CKUA. Well, thank you for having me, Grant. It's awesome to be here. It's awesome to be in Alberta, and it's awesome to be alive. Absolutely. Amen to all of the above. And it's awesome that you're part of this new Speak Up exhibition. Now, the the Speak Up series spotlights stories from remarkable musicians. And, And Tom, I know in one way or another, you're always telling stories, like whether it's in your capacity as a singer or or an actor or an activist. What do you think it is in particular about music that goes so well with storytelling? Why do they seem to belong together so much? I think music as being a part of art, we as artists get to be brave and uh, listeners get to be brave. And we, we have an opportunity to change things that we want, if we want to, or maybe we just want to talk about love, or maybe we just want to talk about lust. Maybe you just want to talk about longing and living. I think <laughs> there's an opportunity now to, to reframe what love means. Is love when the adrenaline flows, when your eyes go sparkly, when you see somebody you, you like or love, or is it a verb? I think it's a verb. I think it's an opportunity for us to, to express what we think is better for the planet, that is better for the earth. We have to recognize that there are people out there that are living on the dirt. The dirt is their home, and we need to go to them. We need to go to their home and acknowledge that they're there and sing to them and sing about them. Well, I know that, Tom, you have been all over this land, I mean, in your capacity uh, as the leader of the Huron Carol series. For instance, you have, I don't know how many countless thousands of people you've touched and collaborated with in that series alone. You're a truly celebrated figure on a national level, on an international level, for that matter. And while this Speak Up series includes people from across Canada, you're somebody from right here in this part of the world, or at least you many years ago chose to make Southern Alberta your home. How meaningful does it feel to be part of this group of people right here in your own backyard and, and sharing these stories in the community? You know, it's one could sound redundant when talking about being acknowledged and appreciated, but it's really an opportunity for me to celebrate the people who live here and the culture that is is seeded and nurtured and harvested here on an artistic level is second to none on the globe. And so we are living here, but we're a global community and we contribute to that globe. And we have an opportunity and there's there's many artists that I can name them off, but uh, I, I would be isolating somebody if I did that. But we have many artists here in in this province and in the extension of that on either side of us. And then it just keeps growing. You talk about that seed, you plant it, you nurture it, you harvest. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Tom, finally, I, I we're so grateful to you for, for taking some time to, to talk about Speak Up and, and about, uh, you know, the work that you're doing for it. But maybe just finally, this new round of the Speak Up exhibition launching in conjunction with National Indigenous Peoples Day. It'll be showing for a long time to come as well, of course. What would you say that an exhibition like this can help to achieve on, on a larger community level, like on June 21st, but also throughout its entire run at the National Music Centre? When we talk about being aboriginal it it's not it's not as isolating as one thinks we we're aboriginal yes but you come from somewhere you know you're an aboriginal from somewhere Mm -hmm. um when you get here there's a difference between when i'm living in another country than when i'm living here i can feel it 
when I'm standing on the land, I can feel it come up through the soles of my feet and through my legs to my core, to my heart, to my head. And it's so powerful that it can bring tears to your eyes. And we're a fiercely independent group of cultures. But that being said, when there's a crisis in this country, we become brothers and sisters. Just think about that for a second. We're not perfect. You know, we just aren't. And we'll never be perfect. But we can be better. We can be better if we decide that we want to display that verb, that love thing. And you might go, oh, please, that enough of that love stuff. No, it's not. There's not enough of that love stuff. And we have an opportunity to display that. And people talk about truth and reconciliation a lot. I got the truth. I get that. What's reconciliation? Reconciliation to me is us displaying to others that love. Well, I'm so grateful to you for joining us and, and for sharing about what it is to love and about the power of music, of course, as well, and story. I know that you've uh, been kind enough to share a musical suggestion with us as well. What, what should we go to right now, Tom? I'd love it if you played Blue Water, not for me, but for you. Thank you. I am grateful, Tom Jackson. What a treat it is to have an opportunity to chat with you. Thank you so much for this, and we really look forward to your appearance as part of Speak Up 2023. Thank you very much. Have an awesome day. Call somebody and tell them you love me. Okay, very well. Tell them to do that. <laughs> well, tell them Tom sent you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Tom, yeah, and we yeah. love you, Tom. How about that? <laughs> Thank you very much. The incredible Tom Jackson, he is part of the 2023 edition of the National Music Center's Speak Up exhibition, which launches in conjunction with National Indigenous Peoples Day, June 21st. And admission to the NMC at Studio Bell that day is free for all. So please do check out all the details at studiobell.ca. Please do call someone and tell them that you love them. And right now, this is Tom Jackson and Blue Water. 